Hi, my diva darlings. We're going to pop on here real quick and talk about when karma arrives. So I'm going to tell you this story. Um, I was in a relationship last year, broke up, met this guy who ended up being a relative of a relative. We talked um, for about a week or two, and then he invited me out. The very first time I laid eyes on this man, he laid eyes on me. He invited me to go to L.A. with him and his brothers to see some other family members that lived in California that they go visit just about every year. On the surface, I was like, you don't know me. I could be a serial killer. I could be a black widower. You don't know me and I don't know you. And that night in the restaurant, he pulled out his phone and paid for my ticket to go to L.A. I'm like, OK, you not getting no cootie. You ain't getting nothing from me. I made this very clear. And in that conversation, I asked him, was he married? There was no wedding ring. There was no hint of a wedding ring. He told me no. I'm like, OK. All right, well, we can be friends. I get my own hotel room. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. You paying for it? He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. You just want to, you know, have a good friend to go out there to L.A. with you. This is on the surface. Because this guy is a public service employee. So I'm not going to say what field he's in, but he's public service. And... He just seemed like the most super sweet gentleman you would ever want to meet. Like he couldn't and wouldn't hurt a fly. Doesn't like to hear people cussing. Especially don't like for women to cuss. Doesn't smoke. Doesn't drink. Just you would think the most super sweet guy you'd ever want to be with. I was like, oh my God, okay. Okay, God. That, that bounce back was on point God that bounce back was on point so we talking and talking and talking and you know um, it was like three months we went to LA um, Labor Day weekend and I was like okay and all this while he was like oh I can't wait to be with you and it's gonna be amazing in LA when we go because I've waited this long to be with you and all this kind of stuff I'm like okay and that's what you say I'm like okay that is about three months okay if I'm still feeling him by then you know that's the 90 day rule whatever I'll go along with it well before the 90 days could even get here so we're in 60 days and I find out that he's married because some things are just too good to be true. He was just too nice. He was too accommodating. I knew his schedule. He sent me photos of his schedule, gave me access to his schedule how to log in, how to go see it, all these things. Because I work in public service too. Uh, but it's a different set. But you kind of get clearance to do a lot of things. So I'm like, okay, okay. But a lot of the things that he was telling me was just not adding up. Just not adding up. So I started doing my own research. And sure as shit, stank. He's married. So I'm pissed at this point because I don't like to be lied to. I asked the question up front. I expected an honest answer up front because I feel like you did not give me the opportunity nor the option to say yes or no. You didn't take me uh, or respect me enough to tell me the truth. Now you're not respecting your wife because you're lying to me. 
most definitely you're lying to her. And that's even if she even cares. But I just don't like those situations. I don't like married men. I don't like men in relationships. I don't like men who cheat. I don't like men who lie. Because if you will do all of those things, then who I am and the morals that I carry, they don't match. They don't gel. They are not yoked together. So tonight, while I say all those things and give you that little backstory and telling you that karma is a B-I-T-C-H, I knew, I knew that what he did to me um, by lying to me, I still went to LA. I still went to my hotel room. The whole time I was there, I was pissed off because I was being paraded in front of family members. And these family members were knowing that he was married. And it was a bet between him and a brother of who could bring the baddest chick on the trip. Of course, he won. I found that out when we got ready to check out who had to pay for whose room. That's why he didn't mind paying for my room. Because he felt like he was going to win anyway. And his brother ended up having to pay for his room while he paid for my room. I'm good with it. I got a free trip. I didn't open my wallet for nothing. I didn't even feed myself, honey. Anyway, I got my karma. Oh, I got my karma. Because the day I came back from that trip, I fell. And busted my knee wide open, hurt my hip. I was off work for like three days. I got my karma back immediately. Because I went on that trip knowing that that man was married. And I knew that I was breaking up with him at the moment we got back. And God gave me back my karma instantly. His though, it took a little while longer. I knew that he was going to run up on a woman that was going to be crazy enough to blast him on all social media. Tonight I found that out. She is blasting him. Pictures phone numbers with a man work everything she calling him out on everything because like me don't lie to me about being married we don't mess with married men period and she is highly pissed that he got upset with her because she wouldn't sleep with him so he went to talking crazy and oh he picked the right one Baby, it is the funniest. It is the funniest thing I've ever seen, ever seen on social media. I said, baby, every dog gets his day and sometimes two days. And baby, I I am. Lord, forgive me, but I am enjoying this media circus. I just cut him to the quick. Told him, thank you, but you paraded me around like a moralist hussy in front of your family. And that's not cool. That's disrespectful. That's not the person that who I am. And I did not appreciate it. And I cut it off right then. I didn't have nothing else to say to him. Deleted his number, deleted his phone, deleted all his photos. Now, I kept my photos of L.A., but all those stuff, I deleted it out of my phone. Point blank, period. And when it popped up today on Facebook and I said, oh, that's the funny shit. Yes, I am messy like that. Oh, yes. But I also knew that the man had a wife or has a wife. And eventually, because Memphis is not that big, it's going to get back. But it's not the first time he's done that because in my investigation, I found out that he had a child in the middle of his other children with a different woman. And he's still married to the lady, to the original wife, and got an outside kid in the middle of his kids. Child, she took that for better or for worse, for rich or poor, to sickness and death. She took it literal. But he broke the contract. He broke the covenant when he slept with that other woman and gave, had, had, had a baby with that other woman. So, But that's not me. That's why I'm not married anymore. Can't do it. Sorry. Me and the Lord will have a good talk about it. When I get ready to go see him, we'll have a good talk about it. But 
minding them because of cheating, though. But a man walks out on his family is lower than an infidel. So anyway, that was my whole deal. But I just wanted to come on and talk about that for a minute. I just, I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I'm taking pleasure in it. And I'm wrong. But it, it feels so good. It feels so good. Honey bun, I wish I could call her name and say, who tells my sister? <laughs> Go get them, girl. That's what I want to say so bad to her. I did inbox her, though. I inboxed her and said, sis, I got receipts. <laughs> this man is going to get enough of messing with all these different women and he's married. That is so shameful. It's so shameful. And I hope he learns a lesson. I really do. I doubt it because he's been doing it for 40 years. But stop this. Stop this. This is ridiculous. But it is the funniest thing. It is the funniest thing. And so... I just wanted my diva darlings to know that, you know, not everything is sad in my world. There are some hilarious moments and I want to learn how to edit screenshots into my videos because I'm going to block out the person's name and the person's picture. But baby, it's the funniest stuff you ever want to see. She is going completely off, off, off. She's so mad. And, and rightfully so. Because it's not fun to be played. It's not fun to be disrespected. It's not fun to be lied to. It's not. I don't know why men think that's a game. It's funny. You know, that it's funny. It's not. It's it's so disrespectful. It is so disrespectful. On all ends, all parties involved, it is so disrespectful to cheat, to lie. To manipulate is hilariously funny. So anyway, y'all have a good evening. <laughs>